in our previous session we have completely worked with orders page we have seen how to submit orders and also we have seen once the order is submitted how to delete that items on the cart now from this session we are going to work with user dashboard page what all data user can see how the user can edit the account how the user can delete the account how the user can see pending orders okay whatever okay related to user we are going to perform all the actions now okay before that we have already seen when we wrote the logic for user login here we have already written the condition if the user is already logged in and if we are not having any items inside the cart then the user should be redirected to profile page or else if the user is logged in and if the user is having some items then the user will be redirected to payment page okay this we have already seen and this we have already implemented as well now let me just show you whatever i am telling i'll just come here now you can see inside this cart i don't have anything now user is not logged in so here i am having welcome guest and here i am having this login i'll just click on login i'm just going to login using khanam i'll just write here 1 2 3 4 login login successful okay as soon as i login you can see i am redirected to profile page because inside this cart i am having zero items so i'll be getting this message and i will be redirected to profile page okay now i'll just come back i'll just come to home page now now inside this i'm just going to add one item okay i have added one item i'm just going to click on log out okay now here i'm having one item inside the cart and the user is not registered okay and the user is not logged in i'll just click on cart i'll click on checkout here i'm just going to log in using khanam okay now i am having one item inside the cart and also the user is getting logged in you can see user is logged in successfully okay i am redirected to payment page this is the thing we wrote when we wrote the logic for user login page okay if you have not watched this then you have to watch this previous session only then you will be understanding the user dashboard page okay now what we are going to do we are just going to assume that user is not having any items inside the cart and we are going to work on this profile page now i'll just come to profile.php and here also i'm just going to come back now i'll just delete this item from the cart Okay, now here I am not having anything inside the cart. Now here I am having this continue shopping. Okay, now we are not going to work on this. Instead of this, we are just going to work on users. And here I'll be writing profile page. Profile dot php. Okay, now in this file we are going to work. And first we are going to write the basic HTML code. And if you see here. we are having the same thing whatever we are having inside index.php we are having cart we are having total price welcome khanam logout search everything we are having here now first we are going to copy the entire code from index.php and we are going to do the basic setup and from next session we are going to start writing the php code okay we are going to see all these things first we are going to do the basic setup and then we are going to write the php code when we click on this how the user can see all the data whatever user has confirmed we are having pending orders we are having editing account we are having my orders okay whatever okay whatever it is we are going to see this user dashboard page okay first we are going to do the basic setup that is how to write this one how to create this user profile page then after that we are going to write php code now i'll just come here you can see profile.php is completely empty i'll just do control b and from index.php i'll just do control a i'm just going to copy the entire code and here i'm just going to paste i'll just close this and also i'm just going to close this index.php now i'll come here now if i refresh this one now here i'm having some warnings because inside index.php we have given this kind of path but here we are inside profile.php and this profile.php is present inside users area so here i just have to include like this double dot slash and here also i'm just going to write double dot slash i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having all these things but images are not visible because we are having different path for that and for footer also i just have to include that i'll just come down and for footer also i'll just write here one dot i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now i don't have okay now i'm getting this footer i don't have that warning now what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove this container as well as i'm just going to remove this containers okay both the containers i'm just going to remove i'll come here we are having this i'll just i'll just minimize this one and from here i'm just going to delete this entire thing okay i don't need this one so i'm just going to delete i'll just copy this till footer i'm just going to delete i'll save 
now i'll refresh this one now you can see everything is working fine here i'm having this nav bar here i'm having welcome khanam here i'm having logout welcome khanam why i'm getting because i have already logged in and we have checked the condition if the user is set then we just have to display welcome username or else we just have to display welcome guest okay this entire thing we have seen when we wrote the code inside index.php what i have done i have just copied the entire code and here i have just pasted that one now if you want you can just give the proper paths i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now when i click on home you can see i'll be getting not found so for that what i'm going to do i'm just going to give double dot slash and for display all also i'm just going to give double dot slash now this profile dot php is present inside users area itself so here i don't have to give this one directly i can just give here user registration i'll save this now we don't need registration instead of this let me just give here my account okay whatever you want you can give and here i'm just going to pass the same file that is profile.php okay in my demo project i have not changed this one i have just written here register let me just show you you can see here i am having this register okay based on the requirement you can just change contact we are having then we are having this cart item whenever i click on this cart i should be redirected to cart page i'll save this i'll refresh this one now whenever i click on this you can see i am redirected to cart page now again here we are having this total price for this i don't have to give this one and finally we are having this search button and for search also whenever i click on this search i should be redirected to search product i'll just write this double dot slash okay you should be giving proper file path if you are not giving this one then this action will not be performed okay now let me just come here i'll just come to my project i'll refresh this one now here i'll just write apple i'll click on search you can see apple is displayed for me okay inside this search product i'm having this apple now if i don't give this proper path here i'll just remove this i'll save this i'll refresh this one now if i just search for apple you can see i will not be getting any result okay here i'll be getting not found because this search product is not present inside users area this is present inside root so for that first i have to come inside users area then i have to pass this file path you should be knowing about this file path from where we have to come outside which path we have to give okay if we give proper file path only then we will be getting the proper result okay then we are having this thing and finally we are having this footer okay let me just bring here okay in whichever format you want you can just format this one i have just created this now i'll come i'll just come back now i'll just refresh this one now if i just search for apple you can see i'll be getting the apple okay this is how we have to pass proper file pass now when i click on cart i am having cart when i click on home i am redirected to index page when i click on products i am redirected to display all okay all the parts are working completely fine when i click on profile okay my account i am redirected to same file now next what we are going to do we are going to create separate session for this user profile okay that is your profile and then we are having this okay based on the condition we are going to get this particular result now here inside this section you can see i'm having two things you have four pending orders and all the order details will be displayed but when i click on this edit account inside the same section itself i'm having this edit account okay we are going to see whenever we are writing the php code but as of now we are just going to work on this section okay below this below this third child i'm just going to write one comment i'll just write here fourth child now inside this first i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as row inside this div i'm just going to create two columns div i'll be giving here call md2 and second i'm just going to give call md10 okay for displaying all the content that that is orders that is user orders pending orders editing account everything we are going to display in this column 10 inside this column 2 we are just going to display this particular section okay this entire section we are just going to display now here i'll just come down okay now inside this diff container i don't need any padding first of all i just want to remove all the padding so i'll just write here padding to be zero okay because i don't want unnecessary spaces so i'm just removing that one inside this i'm just going to create one ul list and for ul i'll just give the class as navbar nav okay this is bootstrap class navbar nav and also i'm just going to give the color because i have given i'll just give the b background secondary i'll save this and inside this let me just write here li i'll just write here apple okay as of now only to show you i'll refresh this one you can see here i'm having list item and also i'm having apple here now what i'm going to do i'll just remove this one and here i'm just going to give some more classes i'll just write here text center 
I'll refresh this one. Okay, now this is not visible because here I'm not having any content. Now inside this, I'm just going to add some contents. So for that, from top, I'm just going to copy one li. I'll just copy this li, and here I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, inside this URL, I'll be pasting that one. Here for li, I'm having nav item, and also I'm just going to give here bg info. Then after that, inside this anchor tab, we are having nav link. Okay, now for this, we don't have to give this active. We are having this area. This also I don't need. I'm just going to remove. And inside this href, as of now, I'm just going to give here hash. And here, instead of this, I'll just write here your profile. I'll just write your profile. And this your profile, I'm just going to wrap inside h4. H4. And here, I'll be closing this h4. I'll save this. Now I'll just refresh this one. You can see here I'm having this your profile. But for this, I just want to change the color. Inside this anchor tag, I'll just give the class. Here we are having class. And here I'm just going to write here text light. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the color is being changed. Now below this, we are having image. And this image directly we are getting from the database. As of now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to display the normal image. I'll just copy this li. And here I'm going to paste instead of this anchor tag, I just want to display the image. Now inside this, I'm just going to pass the images. Let me just do control B. I'll just come to images folder. Inside this images, let me just pass this. Okay, any image. I'm just going to pass this uh, milk1.jpg. I'll just write here milk1.jpg. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this image. My image size is very large. So what I'm going to do. Okay, here I'm having this style sheet. Let me just come up. You can see I'll just write here double dot slash. I just have to come outside of this one. And in each and every file I have not given this one. Okay, that is the reason it was not working for me. I have written internal styling. Okay, here I have just given here double dot slash. Now I'll just come to style sheet. And from here I'm just going to copy. Okay, let me just save this. And I'll just refresh this one. Okay, now you can see my logo. You can see my logo is having some issue here. I'll just come here. Now for this logo. Okay, I'll just write here double dot slash images. I'll just refresh this one. Now here I'm having logo. Now for this image, I'm just going to add some stylings. I'll just come down. For this image, I'll just add one class. I'll just write here class. I'll just write here profile image. I'll copy this class and here inside this I'm just going to paste that one for this I'll just write here width to be 100 percent and height I'm just going to give 100 percent I'll save this okay now you can see it's not working for me I thought this is the only mistake I have done so that is the reason it was not working for me and I have applied internal styling even after giving proper path that is not working for me as I already told you maybe because of cash if it is working for you then you don't have to give here internal styling you can give external styling now I'll just copy this entire thing I'll cut from here and here inside this I'm just going to paste I'll refresh this now you can see it is working okay internal styling is working for me but external styling it is not getting applied okay later on at the end I am just going to fix this one okay now we are getting the image now what I am going to do, I will just come down. Now we have passed one your profile. We are having this image. Then below this, I will just copy the same thing. And here I will be pasting that one. Here also I will paste and here also I will paste. Now instead of this your profile, I will just write here pending orders. Pending orders. Okay, later on we are going to remove this href. And based on the condition, we are going to pass the path. Then after pending orders, we are having edit account. I'll just write here edit account. After that, let me just check whatever we are having. We are having my orders, delete account and uh, logout. Here I'll be writing my orders. I'll just paste the same li here. Again, I'm just going to paste. Here I'll be writing delete account. Finally, I'm just going to write here logout. I'll save this. I'll just write here capital A. I'll save this one. Now I'll refresh this one. 
now you can see here i am having pending orders edit account okay everything i am having but you can see the background color is different so first let me just come here now for image i don't want it to take complete 100 percentage i'll just write here 90 percentage and also i'm just going to give margin to be auto so that my image will come in the middle and i'll be giving display to be block okay once we give the display block our image will come in the middle i'll save this and now i'll refresh this one okay but my image is not coming in the middle and this content whatever we are having at the left side that is been hidden so later on we are going to fix that one before that let me just come here when i copied this one i have copied this h4 as well and from each and everything i'm just going to remove this one okay i don't need this h4 in each and everything i just need only on your profile now i'll save this i'll just refresh this one you can see here i'm having pending orders okay rest everything is visible now from delete account let me just remove one i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay rest everything is working fine now instead of this i just want this background color so for that i'll just come here to ul list here i have given bg secondary okay now from here i'm just going to remove this bg info i'll just remove this one i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one you can see the background color is been changed okay if you want you can remove the bg info from image as well now from here i'm just going to remove this bg info only on first your profile i just want this bg info from rest i don't need so that if i don't give only then this will be applied now for this image i'm just going to give some margin now here we are having this image now for image we have given this class i'll just write here margin margin of four top and bottom of four i'll refresh this now here i'm having some spacing okay this we are going to fix let me just inspect this one i'll refresh once now you can see when i inspect this my image is completely in the middle now i'll just come here okay only in larger screen devices this particular content is hidden so what i'm going to do this padding i'm just going to remove from here i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see here i'm having this proper result here i'm having image your profile pending orders edit accounts okay log out everything i'm having but if you notice here for this ul i'm having complete 100 percent of the width so for that inside this ul i'm just going to add here style and for this i'm just going to add the height as 100 percentage style and here i'll be writing height height is nothing but 100 view height i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one it is going to take complete 100 view height okay now we are done with this section now for image if you want you can just give some more stylings you can see the image is squeezed so for that okay based on your condition whatever stylings you want you can give i'll just write here object fit object fit to be contained i'll save this and i'm just going to comment this height now i'll just refresh this one now you can see here i'm having proper image okay now we are done with this basic setup now inside this container we are going to display this particular things okay you are having this one okay this is dynamic data so as of now we are not going to display this one whenever we click on this only then we are going to display you can see whenever i click on this based on this get variable this data should be displayed for me edit account you can see we are having this edit account okay next we are going to work on this how to get this one how to write functions for this how whenever i click on this how i am getting this data everything we are going to see okay we are done with the simple profile page okay if you want you can just take the screenshot of this what i have done i have just copied the entire thing from index page and here i have just pasted that one i have changed the proper paths okay whatever we are having inside index.php that will not work here because index is present inside root and this profile is present inside users area so we have to change the paths wherever it is required we just have to change that one and here i'm just going to write user profile i'll save this instead of this you can write the username as well okay here i'll be writing welcome and inside this this particular session i'm just going to pass let me just come down i'll just copy this and inside this title i'm just going to paste that one okay whichever user is logged in that username will be displayed here i'll just remove this now this entire thing i just have to wrap inside php i'll just write here php i'll be doing echo and here i'll be closing this php i'll just write proper syntax i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one not here i'll just refresh this you can see here i'm having welcome khanam inside title 
okay whichever user is logged in that user name will be displayed here okay if you just write here welcome and if you just print this session variable inside this session variable itself our name is stored so that will be visible okay we are done with this simple session now next we are going to work with completely dynamic data how to get entire data 